How and why can't you listen to just a simple advice? You are holding on to the ball, dribbling too much unnecessary and losing the boss. Where she? And people are telling you, you are angry. Just like that. Why should you be angry? Do you know what Asamojan has passed through? Do you know what Sule Muntaya has passed through? Do you know what Stephen Apia has passed through? Do you know what Dede Ayu has passed through? Do you know what Pate has passed through? Do you know what uh, Gideon Mensa has passed through? Even this current matter people are talking about you. There, there, was, there were some people who were bashing Gideon Mensa and the rest. And you don't want people to speak about you. Sing ciao, hello, welcome to the Crooked Truth. My name is Melo and I am your judge here in this court. I may be hard sometimes, but trust me, I will tell you the truth without any fears and without any filters. Like I always say over here in this court, truth over emotions. We don't care about your emotions when we are telling you the truth. So get that in mind. I always give a disclaimer that no matter who you are, just be careful your case does not enter this court and place before me. If not, I will treat you like I treat any other person. So just be careful. I was just relaxing, chilling, having fun. And I saw my phone beep. Bing, 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 bing. I checked it was Kankabi. Kankabi was like, judge, 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 judge. I have a case for you. I said, Kankabi, what case do you have for me? He said, just check on your phone. So I was just curious. I check on my phone. Kankabi said, somebody is misbehaving, judge. You need to talk about this case. You need to give your verdict on this case. This person is misbehaving. I said, how is he misbehaving? Okay, so I decided to look into it. And then... I saw that truly there is something I have to talk about. There is something I have to give a verdict on. Now, before we look into that case, I urge everyone to remain silent before this court. Order in court. Now, this case is about a Ghanaian football star. Yes, called Mohamed Kudus. Now, Ghana played a match recently and uh, something happened. This whole case started on Twitter, people were saying a whole lot of things. And Mohammed Kudus also came out to say something, which I feel we need to look into it and give a verdict on that. Now, let's see what Kankabi has for us. So, this is what Kankabi sent to me. Now, this is what happened. First, after the match, someone saw what Mohammed Kudus didn't do right. And he said it. This is number one. There are four people. Each one of them, Muhammad Kudus responded to them. Now, this is it. Steez, you people for talk Kudus the truth. They are saying that Ghanaians should tell Kudus the hard truth. He is not Messi, neither is he Ronaldo. He should stop doing too much and release the ball quickly. Now, these people are saying that Muhammad Kudus holds on to the ball too much. He should pass the ball so quickly. Good, that's number one. Now, Mohamed Kudus responded, Masa, shut the f up. You see, that is an insult from Mohamed Kudus. Now, second person also said, Mohamed Kudus needs to be talked to. What kind of selfishness and unnecessary ball control is that? He's asking a question. That guy must be spoken to. Is there an insult in this? I don't see an insult. Now, Kudus responded, Come and talk to me yourself. He is challenging the guy to come to him face to face and talk to him. Maybe he will give him a punch in the face. Now, third person said, I think the hype is getting into the head of Mohamed Kudus now. Bro, play the ball like you play for West Ham. Now, this guy, 230, he is a West Ham supporter and he supports Mohamed Kudus. But he said this and Mohamed Kudus was not happy. Nobody, they beg you for hype. Sean the fool. Kudus is insulting this guy. Now, another one. Bro, you shouldn't have done that. Just ignore and be of your best. Now, this person is supporting Kudus not to respond to these people. And this is what Kudus said. Sometimes you need to tell them, bro, they sit behind keyboards 
and be doing dumb stuff. Another insult. This is what can be brought to me. And when I saw this, I knew it was a very good case. So, as a judge, I need to bring my verdicts on this issue or case. Now, let's go into it. Mohammed Kudus, Mohammed Kudus, Mohammed Kudus. There is a trait in Ghanaians which I feel we should get rid of it. Now, Ghanaian men always want to be praised. Ghanaian men always want to be told the good things or the good aspect of things. And immediately they go wrong and you start speaking. They get angry. They call you hater. They call you envious. They call you jealous. Forgetting that you are the same person who held them when they were doing the right thing. Now, Kudus, listen to me. There is a kind of profession that when you pick up, when you get into, people will talk about you no matter what. People will speak to you and tell you the wrong things that you do and the right things that you do. Football is an example of that. There are times you will play good. There are times you will play bad. And when you play good, people will hail you. When you play bad, people will speak the truth to you and tell you that you are doing something wrong. Now, what kind of childish behavior is this? You don't want people to correct you. You don't want people to tell you the things you are not doing right. So childish. Mami ka bi bincho. Bo no se awo in mba. Iji wu di desi in mba ne ba. Yesu ye ni me Ghana Black Stars does not belong to you. Only Mohammed Kudus. You are privileged to play for Black Stars. I can tell you that there are second division players in Ghana here who play better than you. There are third division players in Ghana here who play better than you. There are first division and premier league players in Ghana here who play better than you. But you are privileged to play for Black Stars. You are privileged that you have been chosen to represent Black Stars. What this guy said on Twitter, nobody insulted you. Nobody said a bad thing to you. But from your response, only insult and shades. Insult and shades. How and why can't you listen to just a simple advice? You are holding on to the ball, dribbling too much unnecessary and losing the boss. Where she? And people are telling you, you are angry. Just like that. Why should you be angry? Do you know what Asamojan has passed through? Do you know what Sule Muntaya has passed through? Do you know what Steve Napier has passed through? Do you know what Dede Ayu has passed through? Do you know what Pate has passed through? Do you know what uh, Gideon Mensa has passed through? Even this current matter people are talking about you. There, there, was, there were some people who were bashing Gideon Mensa and the rest. And you don't want people to speak about you. People are calling for Mohammed Kudu's face. To be on the black stars. Oh, face of black stars. He will be the head of the next generation. And you don't want people to criticize you. What kind of lifestyle is this? There is nothing wrong these people said in their comments. They only prompted you that you should do something right. There is something you are doing wrong. And you should start doing it right. So you have no reason to insult these people. If you think you are frustrated... Get out of the Black Stars. No one is forcing you to play Black Stars. In Black Stars, nobody is forced. If you live today, today, there will be people to play. There will be people to play. And if you feel you don't want people to criticize you or people to tell you the truth without any insult, my brother, create your own national team and play that national team in your bedroom so that nobody will see you. As far as we see you playing for Black Stars, some of us, our heart is behind black stars. So, any results you guys bring, it enters our heart. You think that when you, you lose a match over there, or you play that wacky, you know, soccer over there, we the supporters, we don't get hurt. Huh? You think that you are human than somebody. You think that you love black stars than somebody. We have to tell you the truth. Some lose match or can you Yet the man, like some people wouldn't commit suicide when black stars lose match. Some people wouldn't, you know, 
you know, get into horrible things when black stars lose match. You think it's easy. You people feel people hate you. You feel people don't like you. My brother, keep quiet and play for the black stars. Jordan Ayu has been criticized for so long when he was not playing right. When he scored hat trick, were Ghanaians not the same people who were hailing him? Were Ghanaians not the same people who were raising this guy very high as if he has not even done something bad before? Let's be matured. Stop being childish. Stop being arrogant. We know you have gotten up there. Yes, you have that, that pedigree up there. But that doesn't mean you can never go wrong. And when you go wrong, people shouldn't talk about it. What you have done is very wrong. When Ghanaian starts, you know, getting onto your neck or stepping on your neck, you will regret for what you have done. Black Stars does not belong to you. Black Stars does not belong to your family. We Ghanaians, we also love our Black Stars. We do not play. Even you, if you play, you take winning bonuses. People don't speak. We that we support, we take winning bonuses. We support with our hearts. We support with our hearts. And you don't want people to talk about you. Who are you? Who are you? Are you bigger than Asamwajan? Are you bigger than Dede? Are you? Are you bigger than Suleiman? Are you bigger than Stephen Apia? My friend, you are the one who should shut up. You are the one who should shut the fuck up. And listen to the advice people are giving you. Play the ball. Go and play better football over there. If you know what you are doing, you are not Masa! You are not going to be a good one. You are not going to be a good one. You are not going to be a My court does not agree with what you did. The Ghanaians who told you the right and are right. And you must listen to them. You have to apologize now and now to them. For insulting them. For being harsh on them. This is what my court is telling you. I don't know if any of you have seen this case already. But if you've watched so now, kindly consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. Share the video for others to come see and also give their comments. Let all of us have fun and learn over here. Leave your own verdict in the comment section. Leave your own opinion without insult if Kudus was right. Or the guys who told him the truth were right. But for me in my court here, Kudus is wrong. The guys were right to tell him to do the right thing. Truth over emotions. We don't care about your emotions over here. We will tell you the truth as it is. On here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth and anything important. Your boy Melody, I will see you in the next court session. May all the courts rise. No more. If you know make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said we love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day you gonna make it. If you know make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said we love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.